Hi, I'm Adam Thompson from Cinti Studios, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a functioning minimap in Unity. We're first going to take a screenshot of our level and then write a script to help map, <laughs> excuse the pun, our player position in the world to the screen. Let's begin. I'll start by picking a minimap prefab from Cinti's Interface Apocalypse Pack. Here are some of the options available. Now, the way this is constructed, is that all of these pieces here are simply aesthetic. The main functionality is inside of this object here called the minimap. This utilizes a mask. If I were to turn off the mask, you will see that the minimap image extends outwards. Inside of this minimap object, there's this object here that's just more aesthetic. This object here is a container for icons that we can leverage in our game design. For now, we will switch this off. This object is the player icon, which will remain centered. And within the container is the actual image of our map. Now, what I'd like to do is to take a screenshot of my level. Then what I'll do is I'll just bring the image in Photoshop and dress it up a bit, which you are free to do. This is what my map looks like. Once I'm happy with that, I imported it into Unity, made sure that my texture type is set to Sprite. And here what we need to do is to correlate the world space to the screen space. So the way to do this is to create a Sprite renderer using this object. The simplest way to do that is to simply drag it into the hierarchy. What that will do is create a sprite renderer object with the minimap object set to it. Now what we want to do is rotate it 90 degrees and again from a top-down perspective we want to move it to match our world. We can do this by setting the alpha of the sprite renderer to transparent to make this job easier for us. So I'm going to roughly size it up Once that's done, I'm then going to add a box collider. And what this will effectively do is create a bounce for us to use in our script. We won't actually have this object active while we play the game. So it's just a reference. Now back to our minimap, I will create a new script. I will simply call that minimap. I will remove everything that's in there currently and start adding my references. We need a reference to the map object that we just created, as well as the player camera for the rotation, as well as the player object and their position. Then we will create some references to the UI objects that we will be manipulating. Some parameters, first one being the texture size, which is how we will be calculating the size of the map. And then an object that will store the bounds that we will be getting from the box collider. Finally, we have some player options, which for now will only consist of the scale. Adjusting this parameter will let us zoom in and out on the UI. Going back into Unity, we can just set our references. I will put in the map reference that we added, a reference to the main camera. And because I have a first person game, my main camera will also be the player transform. However, if you have another player object, that is what you will put as this reference. For the UI references, I will place the map container and the player indicator. Because my map texture size is 1024 by 1024, I will leave those values there. You should set that to whatever your map texture size is. And the map bounds for now I will leave as we will be setting this through code. Back into the script, we will add two Unity functions. First is the awake function. And if we have a map reference set, we will first of all turn it on in case it is off. In order to have the map bounds calculated, an object needs to be turned on. Once we turn it on and obtain the bounds, we can then safely turn it off as this object only serves as a reference. We don't actually want it turned on. Secondly, we will have in the late update function, we'll start by assigning our references. Our rotation reference is the player camera and our position reference is the player object. Then we calculate the unit scale and position offset. We do this using the map texture size and the map bounds. Then we calculate the position offset, which is the center of the bounds minus the position reference. Then we assign our values that we will set our map container. Our position is based on the position offset multiplied by the unit scale and then multiplied by the minimap scale. 
our map rotation will for now remain default. Our map scale will simply be the scale that we set in the inspector and the player rotation will be based on the rotation reference. Finally, we set these values starting with the player indicator. We set its rotation and then the map containers position, rotation and scale. Back in Unity, if I were to hit play and test out what we've got, I can see that everything seems to be correct. My player rotates accordingly and the position seems to be correct. Optionally, if I would like to have the minimap rotate based on my view, what we can do is add a new parameter called rotate minimap. And before we set the values, we can check if rotate minimap is true. Then we will first calculate the map rotation. This is based on the rotation references Y rotation. Then we can calculate the position based on this rotation. We first take the right vector of the rotation reference. Then we can get the forward vector by projecting the rotation references forward on the up vector. Then using the right and the forward, we can set the map position accordingly. And finally, if we're rotating the minimap, we don't want to rotate the player. So we will simply reset the player rotation. Then these values should be assigned correctly. We'll give this a test in Unity. I will make sure the rotate minimap checkbox is switched on. So now rather than the player rotating, we will now instead rotate the entire minimap. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If there's anything specific you'd like to see more of, then let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of our newest videos, or check out our community Discord, link in the description.